Hello, welcome to the tutorial for the operation of the typical property search function within the Tech Center of the Carpenter Technology website. Starting from the Tech Center page, we can find the typical property search here. Uh, it's also links to it in a number of other locations, but this is the quickest way to get to it. And as it comes up here, this particular search method will allow you to select a material based on uh, specific mechanical or physical property requirements uh, using this uh, selected list of uh, fairly typical properties. At the bottom of the page we have the results table that's already established and right now includes all 257 uh, alloys in the database uh, because we have not uh, set any limits other than the, the min and max uh, that is here which defines the, the full scale of the data in the database. Right now we're showing the English units you can also search based on metric units uh, if your requirements are in SI units. Uh, for this example, I will, I will work in the English units. So for example, let's say we want to have a 200 KSI minimum yield strength. You can see the slider moved over. We could have just as easily moved that ourselves, but I just typed the number in to make it quick. If you look down at the results table, that's already updated. To indicate that we now have a list of 31 uh, alloys that meet that particular uh, strength requirement. So if we want to uh, try to restrict the, uh, the available pool of alloys to look at a little bit more, we can add another property and let's say we have a requirement of 70 KSI square root inch minimum fracture toughness. Well that really took a number of them out and now we have only five alloys that are meeting that particular requirement and they're listed here in the results table. Uh, if you want some additional information on the, the function of the results table and getting to the actual uh, data sheets themselves, uh, you can reference the uh, tutorial on the general search options that will go into a little more detail. But what you can quickly see here is you can just hover over the name and get a brief description or you can click on the name and go directly to the data sheet. Uh, one thing that's of maybe of interest is that this particular column showing alloy category will show you the type of alloy that it is, whether it's in this case an alloy steel or a stainless steel and the rest of them are alloy steels. So if your application would require a stainless steel with these mechanical properties and you're limited to one particular choice at this point, the, uh, the custom 465 stainless. If you're interested in material that doesn't have to have the corrosion resistance of a stainless steel then there are multiple choices available and you can use the compare function uh, and look at some of those in comparison or you can look at them individually. Uh, if you want to uh, start from scratch, you change your mind or you want to look at a different set of properties, you can simply hit this clear search criteria button. You're back at the starting point. All of the uh, choices have been taken away and the results tables back to the 257 that you started with. So uh, have fun with the tool try various combinations of things. Uh, one thing to caution you on is that uh, we're looking at the total pool of available properties for each particular alloy. So uh, you need to look in detail at the data sheet uh, to make sure that uh, the uh, condition that the material has to be in uh, to hit those properties uh, is something that is going to be uh, useful for your particular application and to ensure that the properties are both attainable at the same time. Uh, there may be cases where an alloy will have the strength that you need and the fracture toughness that you need, say for this particular example, but it requires two different aging ca conditions to get those so they're, they're not attainable at the same time. Uh, we're not able to filter that uh, with this particular search. So uh, just uh, Look at the information carefully to ensure that the, the alloy is uh, capable of giving you the combination uh, that you're looking for. Uh, we appreciate any feedback on uh, the usefulness of the database and the usefulness of this particular search. Uh, you can click here to the uh, request quote or email us. Simply uh, click the other here, uh, type your comments here in the box, either uh, suggestions for improvement or uh, any comments that you'd like to pass along to us, and uh, we'd appreciate the input. So uh, thank you for uh, listening to the tutorial, and uh, 
have some fun with the uh, typical property search.